Hey folks, it's Jumpin' Quills, and welcome back to more Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Last we left off, we were on a massive recruiting spree. We luckily ended the war with the Kuzites and had a war with the Southern Empire, and now I believe we were at war with... Actually, never mind, we are not at war with anyone. We're currently in peacetime, and we're trying to do our best to get our troops trained up, fight some looters, and get on from there. Now, luckily... Well, I guess a little some news. In case you can't hear me clickly... Oh, we're at war with the Sturgians. I completely forgot about that. If you can't hear the clicking, I got a new mouse, because my old mouse unfortunately started to die on me. The left click button was not working, being extremely unresponsive, and unfortunately, I had to get rid of the mouse. Uh, I could have fixed it, but oh well, I just wanted to buy a new one. So I have a basic Logitech one that is very clicker, or very clicky, and you probably can hear it more often, so unfortunately that might be stuck with us for a while until we can find some better stuff. Unfortunately, looters are a bit faster than we have caravans here of the Sturgians, but we're going to simply see if we can go find a Sturgian army. Uh, the round are roughly our size. Luckily, the Sturgians don't tend to be too much of a hassle. When fighting, they're very on par. They have some pretty good, uh, I guess, uh, two-handed and berserkers and melee units, uh, but they do have some shields, and typically it's either a... It can be a win or lose when it comes to them. They're not as annoying as the Kuzites with their horse archers. They do have, um, I guess, uh, horseback riders who do have spears, which they will tend to use. And yeah, I believe it's actually better to focus our efforts over here on Omar in the west because trying to fight and go to the east will most likely put us at a pretty big disadvantage if we go to the war with the Kuzites once again. We actually still have Epinosa Castle, which I was not ready to, uh, not ready to see, but I mean, oh well, it's there. We should be keeping an eye closer on our party just so we can spot out and go attack any, uh, any bandits, any looters that we see. I believe we aren't, we aren't making too much money. We're only making, we're losing 17 gold a turn. Uh, partially from the workshop income, we do need to buy a group of 18 looters. That should be a good good group to fight and uh, just send our troops after. If it's not 20 or more, it's not really worth it. Actually, Barrack is... What just happened? Oh, wow, this is completely turning south. So apparently, I don't know if we just got declared war on or they declared war on us, but we're now at war with the Western Empire as well. I don't exactly know how this is going to turn out, but I can't imagine this turning out well. Unfortunately, I just don't see things. We might have to cut our losses with the Northern Empire if things keep going south. I'm hoping that it doesn't come to that, and I really would want to turn things around. Whether or not we can actually do that is entirely up to the AI. And, uh, well, there's only so much we can do. So we might want to hold off on actually giving them our, uh, giving them the the, the, the Dragon Banner. Because if we do, we got to support them. That's going to be a whole other thing. But, yeah, uh, we need to buy some food here. We've only got about two days of food left, so we don't want to run out anytime soon. So we'll see if we can find some perfect. They have a lot of grain. It's going to be pretty cheap to buy only for eight. So we're going to go ahead and put ourselves back up to 20. Um, that should give us about 10 days of food, and we can run off of that pretty well. Uh, unfortunately, I'm trying to forget where... I'm trying to remember where we had our... Um, we have our current workshop, because that's what's making us a lot of money. I believe it's actually an Epicritria, um, which I'd like to put my stuff back into and buy another workshop there if possible. I actually haven't tested out that theory of whether or not you could use workshops um, like that. So we have an army of 91 here with a 47 range, something we definitely do not want to try contesting. Um, with that much range, it's going to put us at a major disadvantage. If you look at our own party, we're not short on range, but we certainly would have something better. As of right now, we only have 20 archers. So compared to that, we're still outnumbered by you know, double that number on range alone, so not the best idea. And numbers were entirely outnumbered, so we don't want to be doing anything stupid here. Um, unfortunately, I'm looking for uh, enemies of perhaps a weaker or smaller size. We could attack caravans. Unfortunately, I don't know if I should... Ooh, Festor. If we're attacking him, I actually get us some good coin. Um, he's got a pretty small army, only one wounded, so catching him would definitely be ideal. He's run himself into a corner here, and we're going to fight him. This will be the first time we actually fight someone who is going to be beneath us. And because it's an actual lord, I'm not going to go ahead and send in my troops. I'm going to attack and take direct command of these units because I want to be able to hold on as to much about it, as most of my as possible. Now, to my understanding, when they are clearly, when the AI, AI recognizes that they're on the defensive, they're not going to charge you. Uh, when they believe they have the upper hand or more power than you, uh, and that bar on the top typically will charge us. But luckily, it seems they're going to play the defensive game here. Or as I think. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to move my guys up too far. I'm going to have my bows move up here. And I have my infantry move up just behind them in the event that they do charge. Hopefully my bowmen can uh, cause enough damage to them to cause a charge. Eventually the AI will charge you if you can cause enough injury and casualties to them. Um, with them only having... How many archers do they have? We can tell they have two crossbowmen and an equite, which is actually something I would like to have. Um, they have essentially five archers, two crossbowmen. 
and the rest are either the equite or the infantry. But with 20 archers, we easily outnumber them, so we should be getting more shots off and causing more damage. Um, it doesn't seem like we're doing... There we go. There's their charge. We might actually lose an archer here just because of my uh, arrows we're taking. I'm going to move my guys just a little bit closer so they can immediately get past them. Uh, we're causing a good amount of damage. Uh, they're doing a shield wall advance, so it's going to be a bit slow. We might not even kill them, but luckily we've already gotten most of their range units. They only have a crossbowman left. I'm seeing if I can get him. Unfortunately, I can't remember to aim. Okay, it doesn't even look like it. So with this many left, I'm going to have my guys charge in here and hopefully kill Mr. Uh, I'm missing everything I have right now. Okay, so we didn't take any casualties. This is exactly what I wanted. We still have our friend on horseback. We just got absolutely destroyed by an archer. Um, I would recommend switching. Okay, that this trained archer just had the biggest balls to just... I did the fire that close to range, he just held that arrow. He wasn't gonna miss that shot. That was he wants his pay raise, he wants his promotion. So unfortunately it looks like one guy is gonna get away, unless our archer can catch him here, which they they sometimes do. I, I have no accuracy when it comes to this, so I can't see I, there's no chance of me hitting him. But yeah, oh well. We're not gonna bother chasing him. We could catch him, we're not going to. We got 12 promotions out of that, so that's fantastic. And we're gonna go ahead and actually keep him prisoner. Actually, no, we're gonna let him go. I don't want to keep people prisoner. If I let them go, it tends to raise my uh, raise my standings with these people. It's not really a whole benefit cost to them, except they're less likely to screw you over in some cases. But yeah, we're not going to make them prisoner. We could always donate him for influence, but there's really not much of a point except for the influence gain and kind of keeping them out of the war. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, do we want to increase influence with the enemy or do we want to keep them out of the war? I'm not sure. It's a close call. I think for the time being, since he's not too big, he's not even the main leader of this faction, of the little clan that he's in, we're going to let him go. We're going to take these guys all prisoners, especially these infantrymen and trainer infantrymen, as well as the e -Clex. If we could have cavalry, it'd be nice. I prefer to have Busolari just for the fact that they can, well, be horse archers, which is going to be definitely, uh, desperately, desperately needed to fight on against the Kuzites with their horse archers, so... That's where we're at. We're going to put the one Imperial recruit level up into an Imperial Fermion, him into a trained infantryman, and these archers into trained archers. So we got some nice upgrades there. It's definitely going to increase our cost of uh, upkeep for these units. Um, it's not going to be too terrible. I think we're at... Oh, we're still making money. We have workshop income and mercenary contract has gotten us more pay now because we actually want to fight. So it's we're back in the pauses with the income, so we can definitely still afford it. Hopefully we can find another group to attack and beat back with... Um, we're not going to upgrade these guys just yet. I really should, but economically, I really don't want to. I'm going to buy another workshop. Yeah, we're going to hold off on that. Maybe once we get all the veterans back up to Palatine Guards, we definitely will pop from two Palatine Guards. Because um, those are just extremely strong. One of the best archer units next to... Uh, I forget the names. The uh, Batanian. Oh, God. Something about the Batanians. But yeah, we're going to see if we can catch uh, fight Sergarios here. He's got 33 infantry with only 9 ranged. He's going to be faster than me, I think. Or is he faster than me? I generally cannot tell. Yeah, he's he's definitely got the speed on me. All right, for the same speed. I'm I'm gonna try to fight him here. I hope he's gonna get to Amity as I think before I can actually catch him, or maybe not. We're very close here. It's gonna be very close. We're just gonna keep chasing him as much as we we could be helping out with raids and other uh, the, uh, the uh, castle and conquest. I don't believe we're gonna be sieging any castles in, anytime soon. I, I truly do not believe that's gonna happen. Uh, we have gained the Gillimans as a mercenary. Can we run him into the river here? Is he gonna? Eventually we'll catch him. Eventually. Oh, he's running himself down into the corner. The same corner that, <laughs> the same corner that plagued his uh, his old friend. Uh, default should not appear. Do I know you? I'm not sure what that is. There was an update before I just started the recording, so this can be entirely different. But yeah, you know where we're going to die. Blah blah blah. We're gonna fight you. 44 against 43. Power is still on our side because I assume he has a greater uh, or he's got lower uh, quality units than me. Um, but 33 infantry, I do kind of expect that to be the case. I expect most of them to be uh, recruits. Let's see, he's got only 4 recruits actually and 10 trained infantrymen. So that's honestly a weird number. Apparently, or maybe I've been lied to. I swore it said he only had 9. Oh, I'm looking at my party. That's, I'm, I'm an idiot. He's got 25 recruits. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's the majority. So let's see where he's positioning first before we move any of our units. It looks like he's going to be holding ground and defensive, which makes sense. Which again, was what I expected uh, since we had the power on him as well as the single number advantage. Um, so with only 10 archers, we should still have more on him. I'm going to put my archers actually on top of this hill, so they'll have like, uh, a bit more of a range advantage as Onward! well as be a bit safer. And again, just move my infantry right behind them. So we'll see what can happen here. I'd like those enemy archers to get down. It looks like they have true crossbowmen from what I can tell from a distance. Or maybe three. Let's see. 
one crossman, three crossmen, so it was three crossmen, and the rest of those are going to be archers. From what I can tell, they all are just basic archers. I think so I'm looking at one trained archer on the right over there. So yeah, they're just taking shots for some reason at the infantry, which is pretty odd. They're already into a charge, though, which is fairly interesting. Um, let's see. Not many shots are going off again. They do have the range hill advantage. They've gotten to kill an imperial archer, so I've given them a nine infantry, or nine range. Let's see. Come on. Here we are. Ooh, that was a nice shot. The crossman. Oh, they've advanced, but they have stopped. Which is very interesting, because, let's see, are they going to move into a shield wall charge, though? Because usually if they're, it's interesting, the AI will tend to charge, and actually they tend to be smart enough to put up shield wall. They're in a loose formation, so they're not going to be too, uh, too good here. So we're going to charge the infantry forward. We're going to charge infantry up and against them. We've already broken some of their units. Okay, we broke more than I expected. Um, let's see. We still haven't lost anyone, so that's extremely good. We're going to set everyone into charge mode, seeing as no one is really left. Um, I believe there's still the leader here. I think I think Sergius or uh, Siogus, one of his name. What is it? What is his name? Sio Siorgius. Siorgus. Okay, entirely mispronouncing his name. But let's see. I can get a shot here. I'm missing my shots. I really do need to buy myself a better bow because uh, not having a good bow is actually kind of inhibiting me to be a <laughs> to be an art a horseback archer, which is kind of important. Let's see. They're all still just chasing the. Oh, the guys just they just completely hit him off the horse. Let's see, I want to catch these guys. Is this a friendly I'm chasing here? I honestly can't tell. We're very similar with colors. Uh, he's dark red. These guys are mine. Okay. Yeah, they're mine. Okay. I, I was wondering, it's one little recruit with a sickle just running away. Wait, that's one... Oh, these are all friendlies. Oh, I'm an idiot. I almost... <laughs> I'm an absolute buffoon. I almost cut down my own infantry. I'm very recruit, and those guys are pretty, uh... Pretty valuable. I know they're really weak, but it's good to hold on to your recruits so you can level them up. You fought well. We're going to actually take him prisoner. As much as I don't want to, we are going to take a prisoner. Uh, we're going to take all these, uh, all these, uh, all these prisoners here. We're going to definitely upgrade our units right now. Put him into more Imperial Infantry. Put these Imperial Infantry into Trained Infantry. And do the same thing with these Archers and Trained Archers. Um, we only have, we'll have six more Trained Archers, I think. And we have eight out of 14 Imperial Veteran Archers. So once we get to, I believe, the 20 Archers and the Imperial Veterans, we're going to all just put them at once that should increase my gold count for just the archers alone will be 220 gold a day just for the archers which is why i'm kind of hesitant i might actually just put half of them and uh, drop it down to uh or not 240 a day sorry i'll drop it down to 120 uh kind of half that we have looters and imperial infantrymen that are actually looking to join me here we've actually hit our next clan tier level so with that being done i'm gonna pick up the equite i'm gonna pick up the trained infantrymen i'm gonna pick up all these guys I'm not going to pick up the looters because they're looters. I can't turn them into Imperial soldiers because I don't know how the disciplinarian trait. But with that being said, we're going to pay 360. We're going to take all this loot and we're going to head back up north and hopefully not get caught. If we can make it to Ataconia Castle to drop off the prisoner, that would be more than ideal. Uh, the Benzali, look, we just missed them. I think they are horse archers, if I can correct. Um, they're like a, they're a clan from the uh, Kuzites, or I guess a freelance clan from the Kuzites. But yeah, the likelihood of us actually fighting anyone uh, is going to be pretty low. I'm not sure how these we're going to fare against the Sturgians. I don't know if that's even going to be a good idea. We could go north and try helping with the Sturgians. Uh, luckily, the Western Empire, I think, is actually being besieged by the uh, by the Batanians. So we have some time there. We have some time. We don't have to worry about them too much. I don't know if the... I don't believe they are at war with anyone. We can check the Diplomacy tab and see what's going on there. And uh, let's see, the Northern Empire, we're just at war with them. They're not at war with any other major players. They're, uh, the Western Empire, on the other hand, is at war with the Britannians, so we have some bleeding room. I think they might be focusing most, most if not all, their efforts on fighting the Britannians, especially with Legata under siege. So we'll request entry into the castle. They let us in and donate our troops. Or we're going to donate the... Oh, he's already escaped. Okay, well, the prisoner who we were holding has already escaped. <laughs> The, the, I guess the noble who we were holding prisoner has already escaped, which is, again, kind of annoying. It happens. They can tend to escape on one day, two days. It makes no sense to me on how often they can escape. Luckily, we've managed to pillage some food from all those fights. But what we're going to do now is head north. I want to see if we can actually stand a chance against the Sturgians. And if we can stand a chance, well, we're going to be looking pretty good. Again, I have no idea where my uh, where my companion went. Uh, the Asta is completely still MIA. Whether or not she's in a nearby town is unbeknownst to me, unfortunately. Again, I just have no idea. But uh, we're going to go ahead. We're not going to ransom our prisoners because I'd like to have them. Uh, but what we are going to do is go ahead and sell off all the goodies that we have stolen. Well, I shouldn't say stolen because we we definitely fought for them. We have a Spatha, which is actually pretty decent compared to our one-handed axe here. 
Uh, it's got 73 cut, 81 length, and 86 handling. It only can cut, but it has 64 cut, 45 pierce, and length of 103, so it's longer. And its handling seems to be a lot better, and its speed is also much better. So I'm actually going to take this Spytha. It doesn't do as much damage, but I, it's faster, and I think I can use it a bit more efficiently. We're going to check if there's anything here that we want to wear. I believe we are currently wearing the best of what we can wear, because I don't think we're going to get anything better from... Uh, the drops of defeating enemy parties, the Imperial Axe, worn strip leather, none of this stuff really stands out and going to be look like it's going to benefit us in any way if we hold on to it. We're going to make sure we don't sell off any food, though. That's definitely something we want to do. And I can't seem to find our food other than our grain. I guess we have nothing but grain. Okay, so that's only our food. So we're going to sell everything else off then, if we can. We don't have a reason to hold on to a shield. I do need to get more arrows. Unfortunately, there's no arrows there. So we're going to sell off everything else for 4,020 gold. A pretty good deal, if I say so myself, and that puts us closer to buying another thing. This is a caravan. We're not going to attack caravans because they actually can be pretty tough or deceivingly tough, and they actually have pretty decent units protecting them, especially since it's also not really worth it to do it. We're going to see if we can help defend the Mahazan castle here. We can't fight anyone actually in this party, so what we're going to do is simply sit in the back here and see if they bring a larger army, if we can engage and help our units with. If we do actually go into the fight, I believe our units will be the command under, or under the command of... Oh, here we go. This is definitely something we want to help in here. If we can help the party, this would be great. They're outnumbered by 30 people at this point, so us joining will definitely put us above and uh, in a better position in the feeding them. So this is probably, this is what I was looking for to be opportunistic. Yeah. What I'm going to do is probably pretty cowardly, Arrow. but I'd like to hold my units back. They're going to charge for some reason, which again, I really wish the AI would just not charge the blindly. Um, it looks like the enemy is actually going to hold position and play defensive now that I've joined the fight. It doesn't look like I'm seeing a charge for them. Um, yeah, they're not Go. really increasing a distance. So I'm going to have all my units Everyone. just kind of move up in a line for the move. time being. Um, as we put into range. Luckily, they don't have many archers. And depending on the units here, it looks like they're largely recruits. Um, so we could definitely do a lot of morale damage to their units just based on recruits alone and the amount of archers that we have. 20, uh, 20 archers can make quick work, quick work of any recruit from any faction. Um, typically because they're all peasants and don't have any armor and are pretty weak. It looks like they're... What are they doing? I don't know if they're holding position in the river or falling back. Either way, what I'm going to do is have my units move up a little bit further over here. Or maybe I should actually move them to the other end of the river. That's what I'm thinking. It may not be the smartest idea. This is a pretty deep river, so it will slow us down. What are they doing? It looks like they are falling back to the other end of the river. So with that being said, okay, then we'll hold up and go to this end. I don't know what the enemy is doing. It's Are they turning back now? Are they still crossing? I'm not sure. So yeah, we'll move up our units once again. I'll it out of the water. And uh, they don't have any archers. They do have people with javelins for sure, which is what I'm most concerned about. Um, but what we're going to do here is just have our arrows face this way, move about this close. Uh, if they do end up charging us, now that they've crossed their they shot my horse. If they do end up charging us, it's not going to be ideal for them to keep shooting my horse. Who is shooting my horse? I, I know they have archers, but dang, leave my horse alone. Oh my god, please leave my horse alone. Let's see, what are they doing? They're constantly repositioning, so they're not one making man, it easy me. on me. That's one for sure. Man, Actually, I'll have my bows fall back to here. Let's see, fall back to here. Footman right behind. Oh, we actually already got the E-plant on our side. I completely forgot about that. Um, let's see, though. I believe our archers can do some work here. Um, again, it looks like they only have two archers in that group. So, or, I, Maybe I'm being lied to, but they're crossing the river now, which is exactly what I wanted. I don't know what's going on there. Again, I... <laughs> It's, it's the great battle of the river. These men are sitting under the water. They have... They... <laughs> what is... What is this? I don't know. This is a really strange situation to be witnessing. Um, so yeah, they're in the river, which again, is just really strange to see. I'm not sure why the AI is like, hey, we're gonna just do this. We will fight them on the rivers. <laughs> just actually like just the World War II, just Churchill's speech. We will fight them on the land, on the beaches. We will fight them in the rivers, not... <laughs> it's just... It makes no sense. It's... Taking, taking things to a literal level. I don't know what this guy is charging for. Um, we're going to let our enemy, or our, I guess our friends here, take the brunt of the damage. Um, but we're definitely going to help him here. Our archers are getting into work. We, could, we should be charging our infantry in there, but since it's in the water, I really don't want to. We could just easily cheese this with what we have right here. Um, and just kind of just pepper them from... That's not my horse, is it? No, it's not. Okay. I'm not sure what's even going on anymore. I'll be entirely honest. I still got units on this side. Um, why am I... What is going on here? I'm gonna cancel that. How many archers all run out of ammo already? Archers! Lower arrows! They have... Shoot at will! I think they have used all their arrows. They have actually run out of arrows. which They only have one sling of arrows, which makes sense. You'd think archers would carry another sling of arrows, though. They only have a single-handed. Um, 
Okay, well, I mean, we've already defeated most of them. It's just the party leader left. So we'll just charge all our units for, again, whatever reason, they only have one single arrows, which I, confuses me. Um, they don't have shields or anything else, so let's see. I don't know what to particularly say about this particular fight. It was just the battle of a river. The, the AI was like, listen, man, we're gonna go deep into that river. We're gonna, we're gonna be wading through that river to our necks, but we're gonna fight them. We're gonna be, our movements will be sluggish and everything else. I think the party leader's actually fleeing. I can't seem to find them here. There we yeah. Hey, buddy. I'm a horse archer, too. You see, I'm pretty shit at my job. I don't have a good bow. I promise you I'll get better. And once I do get better... Okay, well, the entrained infantryman just said no to him. I believe the fight is now over. Lee again, being rather cowardly and letting our other party take the most of the brunt, we actually saved our other party, though, luckily. And they actually have 25 units left. It's not a whole lot, but it helps them out greatly. But let's see what we have here. We have some good good upgrades to put into our units. Um, actually, all of our veteran archers are ready for upgrade, which is perfect. We're not going to take any of these prisoners because I don't want any more prisoners. But we are going to pick up more units who want to join our cause, including these Imperial recruits, which is perfect for us. Let's see. Looking at everything else, what is going on here? I'm actually contemplating. These are only Tier 3 units, while we have Tier 4 units. And they believe, or if I am correct, they can turn into... Uh, legionary so actually it seems a bit unfair to not be having these guys as veteran infantrymen to get better armor better skills and whatnot so it seems actually pretty foolish of me not to upgrade them especially given what we're happening what's happening now so we'll pay 700 gold for that luckily the mercenary contract has gone up with, uh, another 50 gold by the looks of it and we'll have some more valuable goodies from that um let's see anything we're worth putting on my character on the immediate moment that's really no point in locking that this is gonna go away it doesn't look like it so we've actually helped but now there's another situation we might need help with and i think it might be a lost cause if we were to help that we'd be outnumbered by two to one and that's not something i think we can really afford to do at the moment let's see we're going to constantly be wanting to check our party because we have more imperial recruits want to join us and another imperial archer Again, we can have another up to, I think, if I can do math, not 20 more units, but we can have up to 18 more units. This is actually a pretty good person if we consider trying to fight him. He's actually faster than me from what it looks like. Yeah, we're not going to bother chasing him because he is faster, but there's a party of 247 there. So what we're going to keep doing is just watching and making sure nothing bad happens to him. We could actually join the siege if we wanted to. It would help probably to join the siege. So we are going to join the siege because they use, for some reason, use... The AI will lose a lot more units if it's just the simulations than if it's just you actually helping with the siege. Um, but let's see, we have all our units in this. I don't believe we actually can make and take control of any of our units, so maybe we can. We have 20, 21 archers. Actually, it looks like we have, do have control of our units. Um, I'd actually prefer they all didn't even attack in the first place, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chance and let them. Let's see, with all the 47 defenders, I'm not too too worried. I'm gonna get off my horse here. That seems to be a better idea. And move up to the upper areas. We should definitely buy ourselves a better bow because this bow is very slow at drawing and we need to get our bow skills leveled up. I'm hoping that Ballista doesn't side, uh, decide to find me as a pretty target and go for me here. But luckily I think of me on horseback it should be a bit easier. I forget I can't retain the draw for too long and even my accuracy with just this bow is super super bad. It is it's just disgustingly bad. Like I, I'm hitting the... I'm used to I'm used to just late game archeries and I just I've completely forgotten the early game or uh, the archery is done. Uh, there is a pounding guard up in this mix and up in this fray and he just completely destroyed that man. There's a siege tower on the right side and a ram. It looks like they're both the left siege tower, so there's gonna be ladders on the left side here, which might be the best. I really hope that wasn't my Imperial Archer, because if it is, I'm gonna be not gonna be too happy. Um, let's see, it wasn't my Imperial Archer. We actually have score to kill. My veteran archer just scored a kill. The ladders are on the side. I actually probably shouldn't be going closer here, me being a major uh, majority archer. Wait, no, there is a ladder here. Wait, what is this? There's only one ladder. That's interesting. Um, but we're going to get it. Or I guess we're not going to get it up. Oh, there was a second ladder. I just didn't see it. But yeah, the uh, the AI really like to respond to the uh, the walls once the ladders are up. Uh, actually, we have a perfect shot on the guy here. Let's see if we can get him. He just ducked under my shot. This man has got the jukes. Okay, there we go. He's done for. Let's see if the AI actually decide to move up and try defending the walls here. They definitely are, and so we'll have a pretty decent shot here. Um, let's see if we get a shot from him. I completely missed. Let's see. We want to get him off the ballistas because the ballistas can one shot people. Uh, Imperial infantrymen are falling. Let's see. We should probably be switching up here. That's what I think about it. But not a big fan of the ballistas up, so I'm gonna kill him. Get him off the ballista. Uh, I'm trying not to shoot friendlies here. It'd be pretty violent. Luckily, unfortunately, we're going to take a lot of casualties. We've already taken three wounds. Luckily, no deaths so far. Um, we're going to join our friends here on the wall. We have taken now a death. Uh, it's very unfortunate. But not we've taken three deaths in one wound. That is... I swore the wounds used to be on the left side. 
Um, that's unfortunate. I actually probably should not have come up here. But, oh well. We're gonna help out with the fight, because we need to get up here. I'm gonna take some wounds here from my, my boys. We've taken four deaths. Again, not ideal. Very unideal. Very unideal for the situation. I've lost a veteran infantryman and three infantrymen. That sucks. It's not ideal. I've said that many times now, but I mean, I would. That's kind of why I should have helped put them on hold. I think that would have been a better idea. I don't even think we got any. Oh, we got, we got some level ups. The Imperial recruits. So we can replace the infantryman and the. Uh, we can't replace the veteran, but we can get more into the train infantryman. I'm not sure exactly who we're looking for. Oh, we got him. Never mind. Perfect. So yeah, we actually managed to help take our first castle for the. Uh, <laughs> For the Nogam Empire, I think it's the first victory we have, have had in the siege. Uh, the uh, we got again the fourteen archers. We're not going to do anything with them just yet. Uh, the Imperial Infantry Band. We're going to level them up, as we said we're going to do, and that's about be all we do for leveling up. We take some of this loot and go on from there. So we've taken Malazadon Castle, which is perfect, and I think this is about where we take our uh, we 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 part our ways with that army. Um, Let's see, we are still making 420 for mercenary contract thanks to all our hard work. The party wages have gone up. We're not going to help with that fight since it looks like he's been caught out in the open. And let's see, oh, someone else from the party decided to join us. More looters? No, the Imperial Archer. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to see if we can pick up more recruits from the city. Tracking. Oh, Asta is here. We found her. She's finally been returned to us. So we're going to go ahead and talk to her. Hello, we're going to take her to the party. Actually, we don't have to talk to her. And she's finally back with us. So we're going to check out what she looks like real quick. Hopefully, she still has all of our gear that we gave her back in the day. Or maybe not. Oh, no, I, I swore we had given her better stuff. Maybe that had all gotten taken away from her. I'm deeply confused about that and deeply concerned. Is there anything better we can give her at the moment? Any gloves? She definitely needs a glove, so we'll give her the gloves. And any scarves? We can give her a fine scarf, and that's going to give us the most armor she can have for herself. She has no mountain, no horse. And I completely forgot what I wanted to turn her into, but it doesn't really matter at this point. We're going to go ahead and trade away more of our goods and see what we can do from there. But yeah, let's see. Leather cap, not really worth holding on to. Hold on to the grain. It seems to be all our food present accounted for with that type of food alone. And sell off everything else. Get another 2,000 and something gold for it. Now what I'm going to quickly check to do, if I can actually buy a different workshop. We'll check what our workshop is currently in it, and I believe we own a... Where is it? So Dathma, I believe, yeah, we own the Ironmonger and Epicrotea, uh, Epicrotea, and we're going to check to make sure there's the Iron Mine, that is not part of the thing, there's the Iron Mine, and here's the grain, so getting a brewery would definitely help, and so that's what we're going to do, if we can buy the brewery and hold on to it, it's going to give us a good amount of gold, especially since there is a village attached to it that gives some better stuff, and I'm looking forward to that, hello, I don't know you, but I do not care, um, no, this is the smithy, we don't need to buy this, or maybe we do, do I own the smithy? I believe we own the smithy. I'm going to double check it. I don't remember if I own this or not. Do I own this workshop? No, I do own this workshop. Okay, so we're going to check out a different one. Uh, head over to the... So there's another one nearby. Oh, the brewery. the brewery. We're going to head over to the brewery and hopefully buy the brewery. If you can't buy the brewery, it's going to be pretty good for us. And uh, to hopefully make us just about the same amount of coin. If not, it's still 100 coin. Um... Which would be very fantastic. It would help offset our party costs and we can still afford some more. Hello, I would like to buy this workshop. 14,754 gold. Unfortunately, we do not have that much, which kind of sucks. So what we might actually just do to give us that good old boost of gold is any other units. While I don't want to do it, I do want to get that gold. It would be helpful. I'm going to go ahead and try to ransom off these units. Uh, it's going to give me 226, so let's see if there's anything else we can do. Let's go to the arena. There is an arena, so we're going to make some money, hopefully. If we win this, we'll have enough to buy the workshop, which is going to be the last thing we do for the episode. It's going to be the tournament. If we get the money, it's going to be perfect. The Imperial Simple Leather Armor. Actually, what we're going to go ahead and do is bet on ourselves here, because I would like to give uh, Asta some better armor. Uh, let's see if our archer can do anything here. I'm going to have my shield up. Let's see. Oh, Iron Eyes going for a swing here. I'm not not sure what he's doing. Okay. Good hits, and it's just him up. Hey, hey, focus on me. I'm here. Focus. Don't don't worry about my arch. I, I don't know who Yana is, but uh, you should be focusing on me. I'm the one charging you right now. Hey. Shh. Kuzite. Carrot Kuzite Nomad. I thought that was just a Kuzite Nomad. I completely misread that. But yeah, we won that round. Let's see. We're not making actually a whole lot of money based on the bets, unfortunately. Um, but let's see. Current stakes, we're going to get 165 out of it currently. It's not going to put us close enough. But yeah. Um, we will still be able to sell the layered tunic on top of uh, Asta. Uh, but let's see. This Yana is 
Yana's going to town. Why are you, can you guys not both focus on me? I would I would appreciate that. Alright, Yana, Jesus. I, I see you going to work here, but I need you to stop. I can't let you beat me. I need this coin. <laughs> well yeah, we're gonna be fighting Yana here actually, so we're gonna only get another I guess I think fifteen gold out of that. Okay, not ideal. It's money, but it's just not as much money as I'd like. Alright, Asta, or not Yasta, Yana. I'm just sorry, but you're not needed. Goodbye. You fought well, but you just didn't stand up to Asta. Asta would have been so much better than you. Asta would have at least hit me there. Well, let's see. We have... Yeah, we're only getting 195 gold out of this. It's honestly wasn't even really worth betting. It's still more than what we have. It puts us closer to that 14,000 or that 700 we need. Um, but, I mean, it's just not exactly the best. I think what's going to really give us the money here is the armor that we're going to be able to get and sell it for. Uh, but let's see. We've won the tournament, which is fine and dandy. Perfect. Exactly what we needed. Um, so let's check how much this armor is worth. Actually, we'll check out the inventory. I don't want to give it to her. Not because I hate her, but because I think it'd be better suited uh, going to someone going elsewhere. Let's double check actually to make sure it's not better than what we currently have, and it's not. So let's see, the cost of this is only 14 body armor compared to 22. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to her. It's not worth a whole lot. I'm hoping though, if we sell this, we actually will have enough coins, so it's gonna work out just enough for us to get away with it. So let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and trade. We'll sell the layered tunic for 299, and we'll have just enough coin to buy the workshop now, which is just what we need. So we'll go ahead and talk to the Cooper again. Uh, we'll leave this conversation because I don't want to talk to this man. I, I just came here. I must leave for now. Goodbye, sir. Um, and we must find the brewery once again, which is going to be just down this way, which is very lucky that it's so close by. Hello. I'm coming, my friend. I must. I wish to buy your workshop. I wish to buy this, this place. Yep. We're going to buy it, and we're going to leave it. I do not want to change what we're doing, and we're going to buy it. I said, we, Mayor Grant is taken and brewed into beer. So with the grain, we can essentially be... We're, we're making beer. Wait, it's a brewery. Um, so we're going to see that, and I think that's going to be the end of, that's actually going to be the end of this video. We're a little bit over. Um, we're going to just take a quick look at what our, it's not going to make us any money yet, but in the next video, our next episode, we'll see just how much money it's starting to make us and how much, uh, how good of an idea this was. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, folks. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more in the future, you know what to do. It's been Jumping Quills, and I'll see you folks in the next one.